Good morning, dear students. Oh, I need to take this off first. Hello again. Welcome back to our week four reading A to Z class. I hope you are always safe and healthy. Looking forward to seeing you soon. So are you ready for our new lesson today? Okay, so let's clap all together to start our lesson, okay? In three, two, one. Wow, it's really good here, students. Can you see the stars? Oh, beautiful stars. I really love to stay here and look at the stars. Okay, so we are done with our stargazing moment. Now it's a perfect beautiful day today. And I want you to relax because today the book that we are going to read is entitled Saved by the Stars. That is related with the stars that we have watched earlier. What do you think happened in this story? So we will find out later, okay? Let's build our vocabulary words first. Okay, the first word is adrenaline. Say adrenaline. Adrenaline means a hormone released by the adrenal glands that elevates heart and respiration rates. So you can see on the picture, there is the brain, the heart, and the adrenal gland. And the second word is exhausted. Say exhausted. Exhausted means very tired. Just like the woman here on the picture. And the third word is dead end. Say dead end. Dead end means the end of a street path or road beyond which there is no way to go further so you are ready now to read a book so again i want you to pause this video first and read this book okay i will wait for you welcome back again students i hope you enjoyed the book that you've read today so you are ready for a short comprehension test, right? So I want you to prepare your paper and pencil or your pen. Okay, let's start. Number one, what did Miguel consider the best medicine for Miguel wish for at the beginning of the story. Number three, a narrator is telling the first part of the story. Who is telling the rest of the story? Number four, what is a dire circumstance? Okay, last number five. When you traverse something, you blank. What is it? Amazing, dear students. You finished the comprehension test. Now, are you ready for the result? Now, these are the answers. I want you to check your own paper and you can show it to me on Google Classroom later, okay? So today, we are going to learn how to visualize the text or story. Look, here are my students also. They are my students. They know how to visualize the story. Can you do it also? Now, I have here a very easy worksheet for you. You need to think about what you visualize while reading Saved by the Stars. In the book says, draw pictures to represent what you visualized. But wait, we have more. And today we are also going to learn about semicolon. 
So what is semicolon and how to use it? Rule number one. Use a semicolon in place of a period to separate two sentences where the conjunction has been left out. Example, call me tomorrow, semicolon. I will give you my answer then. Rule number two. We use semicolon before introductory words such as namely, however, therefore, that is, and many more. For example, you will want to bring many backpacking items. For example, sleeping bags, pants, and warm clothing will make the trip better. Or another one here, as we discussed, you will bring two items such as a sleeping bag and a tent are not optional. And for rule number three, remember, use a comma after the introductory word. Before we end this lesson, let's recall first about simile. Who can tell me again what is simile? Can you still recall it? So again, a simile is a comparison of two things using the words like or as. So let's have here another example. Okay, what do you see on the picture? A girl or a woman and a car. So we can say her eyes are like stars and her lips are like roses. So this sentence is an example of simile. How about on the second picture? About the cars. Okay, the car was as fast as a cheetah. So, this is also an example of a simile. We use the word as and we compare it to the car and cheetah. So, for today, students, thank you for listening and watching this video. I also want to say that I'm so happy and I appreciate all your efforts, especially in doing your assignments. Okay, so let's see you in our next lesson. Bye!